Hello and welcome to Ollie Talks Airsoft, where today we are talking MP5s. So, this is a uh, WE Apache MP5A5. So I've had this for maybe a year and a half or so, taking it out to quite a few games now. Really quite enjoy it. Not ready to do a review on it or sort of give those kind of opinions yet. But um, for the longest time, uh, my dilemma has been, uh, what do I do about the flashlight foregrip? As you can see, it's ended up uh, on this WE MP5 Apache. However, uh, it originally started its life uh, on this gun. This is a Tokyo Marie MP5 A4 AEG with a, uh, a Wolfer red and green dot sight, which actually co-witnesses um, which is great because as you'll notice I got my front blade shot out and the dot sits perfectly when you're uh, when you're lining it up so absolutely love this gun but unfortunately I don't really use AGs anymore I use gas guns so this has kind of become a little bit redundant emergency services um, so uh, on that, uh, for the longest time, I had uh, this GMP flashlight forend, which is specifically designed for AEGs. And it's designed for AEGs because it has a couple of wings uh, on the bottom. It and it basically, as much of the inside space of this has been removed so that it could potentially hold a battery. So, in order to fit it onto the WE, uh, I had to uh, dremel off a couple of wings on the inside. and you. However, once you've fitted it on, uh, the pin goes through absolutely fine, um, you'll get this issue. So again, I'm going to take this off and I'll show you how easy that is to fix. And I'll show you the bits that I dremeled off. So if you did want to get uh, an MP5 uh, four-end flashlight uh, for your WE Apache, well, yeah, you can use the AEG one, but you are just going to have to do a little bit of modification yourself in order to get it to fit. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to see just there where it's a complete mess and the same again on the other side. That was basically I just removed the wings that were sticking out and on the bottom uh, here I'm basically just going to have to add some material. I think probably the best thing to do is get some neoprene and what it will do is as long as I keep it relatively uh, near the back here, when I actually uh, put it onto the MP5 it's not going to uh, interfere with the hop up or anything like that around here. It's actually going to sit just underneath here. So this is basically pressing against the steel receiver. So it's not going to cause any interference. It's not going to cause any problems. So the installation of this is again, nice and simple. It just goes straight over. You can line up the holes and then just put the pin through. So there you go. So yeah, the only thing I need to do is basically just uh, get something on the bottom there so that it removes the um, removes the uh, slack in the system. Um, I would just note that obviously mine, my front end doesn't really wobble and that's because I put an O-ring in there. What that does is it tightens up the whole barrel system and it also means that instead of the hot wheel spinning really freely, it actually means that it has some like you have to put something into it to actually turn it which basically means that as this gun does like to recoil um, and sort of shake itself apart um, the hop up doesn't just automatically wind itself off which is something that I did start getting uh, when I first had this the hop really wasn't that um, consistent and it kept winding off whereas actually since I've tightened up this front end uh, the hot wheel is a lot tighter and it doesn't automatically want to come off so um, I put them, I've got a couple of the, uh, actually no, I shouldn't, shouldn't put that one in because that's dangerous. We'll go for that one. If you know why, then you know why. Um, so yeah, um, this is just to say, yeah, to those people that are consider getting a um, one of the GMP flashlight four ends, uh, will it fit on your MP5 Apache? No, it's not a drop in, but yes, it will fit. Um, with pretty like 10 minutes of modding and waiting for maybe some for some glue to dry uh, i actually don't have the right neoprene to put in here so i'm just going to order some 
so it's like 50p um, to get like a, a, a small sheet like that that's like a centimetre thick so I'm just gonna order that I can always double it up figure it out measure twice glue once um, and then yeah that should mean that this is then completely solid and at the moment there isn't actually um, any wobble in this system already it's just this this little up and down bit that you're getting um, one other modification that I've actually done to this is uh, the reflector on the inside and the LED are actually slightly further forward than they would normally be and you may be able to see that actually the the flashlight is actually now shorter than than the end of the barrel and the reason that I basically what I did is you can remove the front end um, of this GMP uh, flashlight and there is a metal collar and in front of that there is a rubber uh, o-ring essentially and what that does is it means that it's all sort of held together nicely it's sort of it's still not gasketed but it means that everything is held straight uh, but it does mean that the actual bulb is held a bit further back and what that has the effect of doing is really like coning um, the light what I wanted to do because this is a CQB gun uh, I actually wanted to move the reflector and the bulb further forward so they're closer to the lens thus giving me a little bit more spill and I'm pleased to say it has done that and it's also had the effect of slightly reducing the length of, of the gun itself so I don't have any reason to believe that this is now no longer waterproof it should still be absolutely fine ultimately it's one CR1 C3 battery in there um, and if I'm using this indoors uh, it's probably not going to be raining although I don't I do shoot in some pretty old buildings so sometimes they can be quite wet um, but yeah, other than that, this is it. This is yeah, this is the MP5. Um, it's it's really cool. Um, I would say again about the about the competition mags, um, which is kind of probably what everyone wants to get for um, for their MP5. They look great, but they don't perform as well as the the 45 rounders where the BBs just stacked down the front that don't have the correct curve. They actually just work better for skirmishing. So if you're you know. If you're wanting to get a load out and you know get a bunch of mags well probably don't go with the competition ones like definitely for like having up on your wall yeah competition get a competition one for that but for actually like using um nah i'd put i'd stick with the 45ers to be honest they just work better and they leak less like i've i've had these ones um leak quite quite a lot so in constant they're just attention seeking like they just constantly need something done to them which is just a bit annoying to be honest you know can't be bothered um so but anyway guys yeah hopefully you found that useful and if yeah you're if you're thinking about getting a flashlight for end for your mp5 apache yeah you know you can mod the gmp one and you can get it to fit and ultimately they're probably the cheapest ones out there but there you go guys Hopefully we're all going to be running around with flashlights on our MP5s now. And until the next time, guys, take care and I'll see you soon.